The glidoscope is designed to provide a view of the anterior glottis without a direct line of sight and is therefore used to endotracheally intubate patients whose laryngeal and vocal cord view is challenging by traditional methods. Ensuring airway equipment is available prior to the procedure is critical to a successful intubation. Obtain the glidoscope video laryngoscope and check to ensure that both the screen and camera are functioning. You will need the glidoscope laryngoscope blade, an endotracheal tube, a glidoscope rigid stylet, surgilube, and a 10 milliliter syringe. Test the cuff on the endotracheal tube by inflating it with 10 milliliters of air using a syringe. If no leaks or defects are detected, deflate the air completely. Lubricate the stylet with surgilube and insert it into the endotracheal tube. When performing traditional direct laryngoscopy, it is recommended that the endotracheal tube and stylet be bent at a 35 degree angle. Because glidoscope laryngoscopy does not require a direct view of the glottic opening, the endotracheal tube and glidoscope rigid stylet are bent at a 50 to 60 degree angle to facilitate intubation while maintaining a view of the vocal cords on the portable screen. The patient should be placed in a supine position with his or her head resting on a foam pillow. The head may be placed in sniffing position or, alternatively, because the view of the vocal cords is seen on the glidoscope monitor, the head may be kept in neutral position. Induction of anesthesia is initiated while the patient breathes 100% oxygen. After ensuring that the patient can be successfully ventilated using a mask, you may proceed with laryngoscopy. Using your right hand, scissor open the patient's mouth. Grip the distal part of the laryngoscope handle in the left hand and gently insert it along the midline of the tongue. Slowly advance the blade into the vallecula, looking at the display screen for guidance. When the tip of the blade is located in the vallecula, lift the glidoscope handle upward and outward to reveal the glottic opening. Visualize the glottic opening and the vocal cords on the display screen. Place the endotracheal tube on the right side of the patient's mouth and advance it toward the glottic opening. Continue to use the display screen to guide the tube through the vocal cords. If you have difficulty passing the endotracheal tube through the vocal cords, do one of the following. Withdraw the stylet approximately 5 centimeters to aid the passage of the tube tip through the cords. Pull the laryngoscopy blade out of the mouth 2 centimeters to enhance your view of the glottic opening and increase the space available to you to maneuver the endotracheal tube. After the endotracheal tube has been placed through the vocal cords, remove the stylet. Remove the laryngoscopy blade slowly, protecting the patient's teeth. Advance the tube to a depth of 21 centimeters in a female patient and 23 centimeters in a male patient. Inflate the endotracheal tube cuff with a clean syringe. Connect the tube to the breathing circuit. Provide a gentle breath with the reservoir bag, not to exceed 25 centimeters of water pressure. Confirm successful ventilation by watching for chest rise and auscultating the lungs bilaterally. Verify ventilation by checking the monitor for the presence of N-tidal carbon dioxide. Secure the tube with tape. 